2 2 to Hillenbrand. Into the air to left. High and deep. Way back and go. But most importantly, if you don't love what you do, it'll be so difficult to recover. What's going on? I'm in Phoenix, Arizona at the Shield Leadership Conference. Man, they've been battling these last few years. The game they've had to play has been nothing less than challenging. Creating consistent results, performing under pressure, and navigating failure. Today, we're going to uncover how these challenges can be transformed into new possibilities. Shea is a two-time Major League Baseball All-Star, sharing his Emmy Award-winning story of resilience to millions around the world. So let's do this. Let's go. I got a quick question for you guys. I want to see a raise of hands. How many people like animals? See, I, I love animals. I love animals so much that I, I bought a zoo. I had 300 farm exotic animals. I had camels, kangaroos, llamas, alpacas, monkeys, raccoons. But I had a dream. In order for my dream to materialize, I realized that I had to love it. I had to love it at a deeper level. To weather the storms and the roller coaster ride that comes along with living out your dream. Fly ball in the left field and deep end. This ball is gone. Goodbye, baseball. Holy smokes, what a shot. The MLB Mindset Formula is a growth strategy that flips the script on challenges, setbacks, and failures that we often see as negative. Instead of letting these challenges hold you back, you see them as opportunities, gifts even, an opportunity for you to step up to the plate and prove to yourself push past limitations, and become the very best version of who you are. With the MLB Mindset Formula, there are no obstacles, just stepping stones towards greatness. Mindset and movement, and balance and sequence. These are the four core ingredients I had to use to hit a Major League Fastball. Today I'll be working with the leadership team, equipping them with the tools I used while playing Major League Baseball. As well, the stadium will be packed with people from around the world joining us virtually. The first core ingredient of hitting a Major League Fastball is mindset. There are scientific studies proven out there right now that it is impossible for an average human being to hit a Major League Fastball. But I stand in front of you here today as proof that the impossible is possible. The way I made it possible was by Harnessing the power of an elite mindset. The way I did that is being able to eradicate negative thinking, which we all deal with, and to be able to incorporate neutral thinking. The second core ingredient of a Major League Baseball swing is movement. Pitcher throws me a curveball down and away, which is way over here. That's a pitcher's pitch. I can't do much with that pitch. I can't try to jack a home run. I can't try to force it. I have to stay true to myself and true to my swing, but still be flexible enough to be able to adjust to what the pitcher gives me. So for us in this room today, for us to be able to adjust to a curveball, to be able to handle rejection, to be able to navigate failure, to be able to go to the next level, to pursue a dream or a vision, we must understand that we must focus on mastering the small things. The third element of my Major League Baseball swing is balance. In a game where every movement, every decision, and every play matters, balance is the key to unlocking success. Balance is crucial on a Major League Baseball field, but it's way more important in our everyday life. Being under control allows you to handle pressure and go the extra mile for your team, while controlling the narrative by transforming fear into fuel so when the game's on the line, you can beat self-doubt. One of the monumental moments of my career is when I secured my first All-Star appearance. I went from being one of the best players in the Boston Red Sox clubhouse to being one of the best players in the American League, representing the American League in the All-Star Game. And when I walked into that clubhouse for the All-Star Game, I realized one thing. I wasn't just the best third baseman in the American League. I was the best third baseman sitting next to the best shortstop, sitting next to the best pitching staff. And the epiphany that I had was, good isn't good enough, and great isn't always good good enough either. How many times do we settle? How many times do we become complacent? Because we're surrounded by a bunch of people that don't encourage us to go out there and pursue and be the best we could be. Because we're surrounded by people. We lower our standard of performance because other people are just doing enough to get by. Other people are just going out there to collect a paycheck. The best is only relevant to what it's compared to, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm a 200 hitter and I'm on a team full of 190 hitters, 
and I keep getting written up in the newspaper all the time because I'm the best hitter on a losing team, is that good enough? Because I was always pulled and believing that I was good. I was always pulled into believing that I was really good until I sat in that dugout and I looked left in front of millions of people and I looked right and I told myself, good isn't good enough. You can't experience true balance without failure. When you adopt the MLB mindset, you'll know how to recover after a strikeout, rebound after rejections, setbacks, and failures. Your setback will not only serve you, it'll equip you for the next big opportunity to rise to the occasion and come through to make your team better, allowing you to step up to the plate, becoming the best version of who you are, that inner all-star that we all know is waiting to shine a light on the world.